Today, on this dreary winter day, I wanted to share with you what I have underneath these domes here. Uh, and what I have under these domes are special butterworts, pinguicula. I've showed you the Mexican butterworts a lot, and we do mean a lot, most of the planet is are pinguicula. We're working on changing that gently. Anyways, what I have under here are subtropical pinguicula that come from the southeastern United States. I'm gonna start here with pinguicula lutea. You can see that the rosettes of these guys are different looking. They have long kind of linear leaves, little points on them. And lutea means yellow. And that's because they have these amazing bright yellow flowers. It's the only bright yellow pinguicula. It doesn't cross with the other ones, unfortunately. Then next door, I have pinguicula cerulea. This one has beautiful purple flowers. There's also a little white beard in there. It's just also kind of cool. Next door, I have Pinguicula planifolia. This one has red rosettes often, especially when grown in super intense light. And light purple, the kind of dark purple flowers, the little yellow pollen guy in there too. There's one other species out here outside the door we could point to really quick, and that's Pinguicula primuliflora. That means uh, primrose flowered. And they do have really beautiful little primrose flowers. And Primula flora is the only one that does this, but it can make new plants off the tips of the leaves. It makes them incredibly prolific. So all these plants can take some light frost. They appreciate high humidity, but they're great for bog gardens with other temperate carnivorous plants, or you could grow them in terrarium on terrariums under lights. Um, just another little pinguicula rabbit hole to go running down. There's another one too, Pamilla, the dwarf, the dwarf one. I don't have that here to show you because it's annual and they die in the winter. That's the subtropical pinguicula from the southeastern United States.